All right, on this run, we're taking the L train from Rockaway Parkway to 8th Avenue. Let's do this. Sam Knott. So in this installment, uh, it's more open BVE, more content for open BVE, and we're just going to go straight for it like we did before. So, yeah. Um, this is a Bedford Avenue found L train. The next stop is East 105th Street. So let's go for it. Let's get uh, let's get started, and we are moving. There we go. I don't know how long this route's gonna be. It's been quite a while since the last time I even touched these. So this should be quite fun. Also, the sounds on this uh, particular train is really top-notch stuff. And it seems to be a lot more faster as well. <coughs> Way faster. There's not a whole lot of uh, room to just wait around. We gotta move. Like, no joke. We just gotta move. And this time we're not all the way underground like we'd usually be. Now we get to see some open BVE graphics that resembles topside. So we're technically outside and um, I will say it, it's very charming. It is very charming, and I like it. And the doors work as they should in this one. The next stop is Livonia Avenue. And we're gonna zip right through this, man. <laughs> I love how the train tracks are over the streets like they are in real life. I really love all the detail that's in these, even though it keeps on telling every single time I open this up. Oh, there's files missing. Okay. For some reason, OpenBV doesn't want to find all the files for some reason. I don't understand why it does that.
This is a Bedford Avenue bound L train. The next stop is Sutter Avenue. I'm not going to correct my position because my position is just fine. <laughs> I'm not going to say that their programming on how you're supposed to approach and stop at the platform is 100% on the money. Because it's not. But what they did is completely fine. So I'm just gonna ignore the game telling me, oh, you need to, you know, correct your position when the positioning is way off. So I'm going to ignore it. That's fine. This is a Bedford Avenue, 6.5 meters? What the hell do you want me to be? All the way out on the tracks? I don't get that. Okay. It, it's telling me to be completely out, like in the middle of those tracks in front of me, to unload passengers. That's crazy. I absolutely love this. This, the, the just the objects they have around here. I love that stuff. Well, this time at least it was a little bit more accurate. The next stop is Broadway Junction. Let's go. stopped. I did! I did stop at Atlantic Avenue. What the hell are you talking about, game? Y'all saw that I stopped at Atlantic Avenue. This 
of Bedford Avenue, Town L Train. The next stop is Bushwick Avenue, Aberdeen Street. Bushwick Avenue. Goodbye. Yeah, this is uh, definitely better made because when you go into tunnels, your uh, cockpit actually gets dark. That's a nice touch. It's a very nice touch indeed. Those touches really do make all the difference. I'm just uh, learning from my. I'm just learning from my mistakes from my past um, playthrough on uh, the the two train. So what I'm basically doing right now is I'm just going fast. The next stop is Halsey Street. Too bad this train does not have headlights. I'm hitting the headlights key and it doesn't go on. It'd be cool if it had it. Says 30, so go 30. And that's what we're going to do. Please per like reset your position. I am good, trust me. Oh. 
I do not understand why it's telling me that I have to re reset my position when my position's fine. <clears throat> my cab is not even going way off of the uh, platform. I like this activity a lot. A lot, actually. This is a very fun activity. I'm really going to enjoying this one more than the other one. It's a very, very well put together uh, L train route. Very well, well put together. See, that was a perfect stop. Perfect stop. The other one had told me I had to go and reposition myself. Getting the hang of it now. <laughs> this is exciting. Like I'm actually really proud of myself the fact that I'm like stopping at the uh, at the platform so well. Like the more you do it, the more you start feeling good about yourself and like, yeah, look at me stopping like a pro in a, in a simulator. Look at that, you know, talking big and stuff and speeding.
you know, speeding's good. So that you're not late. <laughs> the reason why I'm off is because it's an uphill. So I'm gonna have to let the train just drag itself out. I love the sounds on this train. It sounds so damn good. <clears throat> Cause that's what this that's what the train literally sounds like in real life. It sounds damn good. It really does. It sounds really, really good. It's impressive that they even got that kind of sound, you know, that, that sound quality. They must have sat on the trains and just with a recorder or something and just waited to get the best sound recording quality from the train possible with, you know, people talking and stuff like that. They probably went into a very quiet car and just waited patiently. That's what they probably did. That's what I would have done. I would have went into a very quiet car with just very few people and just try and record a file. I gotta get out of that habit by cranking it to two. I gotta like go gradually because putting it into over into like you know a gear that's over jerks the train forward too hard and it's not good for the passengers. So I'm trying to get out of that bad habit. Seven seconds is really fast, I have to say. I have no choice but to go very slow around this. It'll jerk the train and slam it into the walls. Don't want to go too fast uh, when doing that in particular. So you gotta do that one slow. You have to. This is
The only thing that sucks is that I'm going to have to approach this platform very, very slowly. Hopefully it doesn't make me late. <laughs> That's all I'm hoping. It doesn't make me late for going on, um, you know, something slow like that. So I'm just trying to haul it as fast as humanly possible. Stuff. This is a Bedford Avenue sound L train. The next and last stop is Bedford Avenue. Last stop. It's a lot more shorter than the uh, previous. Way more shorter. <laughs> Did not take long to get through this. We are done with this. I think that was a pretty good run. Yeah, that was a pretty good run in my opinion. <laughs> That's how I feel. I think it's great. So there you go. That's the end of this route. And um, this was very enjoyable. I like this better than uh, than the two t than the two train route, and the thing is, the reason why I got the two train route is because I took that route a lot to get to and from home from Manhattan. So this was really really cool. This is the L train. It was a lot of fun to get through. So I do recommend this. I'm gonna link the download links for all this content in the description below if you want to give it a shot yourself. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be bringing out some more open BVE videos soon. Along with more open rails. More Train Sim 2020. More Jalopy. More House Flipper. And I really do need to do some more Beam MG. I don't know why I'm holding that off so much. I guess it's because I'm in love with trains. Big surprise. Anyway, thanks for watching. One love.